Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Wednesday, Wednesday, uh, November 15th, 2023, on the Dunpoker Tis Beer Time. So I had to uh, stop at the LCBO today to pick up some uh, Irish cream for the weekend. Because I was just driving by, I'm like, I might as well get it now. I'm eating the Irish cream. And the O'Casey's, by the way. Don't buy the Bailey's. Bailey's is uh, overpriced. And O'Casey's is better in coffee. Just my opinion. So as I want to do, I wander through the beer section. There's some things I've seen, uh, you know, uh, new beers and stuff. And then my eyes fell on this one. And I'm like, hello, old friend. It's been a while. Yes, German beers, German beers. I was talking about this the other day, because I haven't seen it in forever. From Schneiderweiss. It's a, it's a macro brewery, regional brewery, I guess, in Germany. Aventinus Icebach, 12%. 12%. Uh, the bottle's going to set you back about four and a quarter, 435, something like that. Uh, I bought another beer, Santa Claus. That one sent me back over five bucks for a bottle of beer. The economics of scale at work, my friends. Inflationary tactics. Don't care. I haven't had this beer in many years. I do remember enjoying it. An ice buck, an ice beer, as it were. A strong beer, strong buck, with a, a proprietary brewing technique. Don't they just freeze it and then take out the water crystals? To make it strong? Oh, Jesus. Oh, that smells lovely. Oh, like plummy banana. Oh, dark sugary malts. Let's get into it. Uh, cheers, my friends, to random beers you find at the liquor store, because you not know what you were looking for, and you bought them anyways, because you just can't not buy a beer, right? Cheers. We talk about chewy beers. This is a chewy beer. Like big caramel um, notes, uh, banana, plum, chocolate, clove. A big warming finish on this one. That's nice. It's a nice beer. Like, it really is. I mean, the, the problem here, obviously, is so the, what caught my eye was La Trap. So the trap, the trap is Trapel. It's like 10 bucks for that huge bottle. But I talked about that in September, and I'm like, well, I mean, I'm going to buy it, drink it, or whatever. But I saw this, and I'm like, I haven't talked about this in a long time, and I forgot how filling it is. Like how full-bodied. When you talk, and we talk about some beers that are full-bodied, but this beer is all-encompassing. It's very, very well done. I mean, oh, jeez, that's so good. It's sweet, but not cloying. That sweetness is met by the by the spice and by the warmth of, of, of the alcohol. I mean, it, it's not a little beer. It's twelve percent. It's a, it, it is is a big beer. So yeah, it's a nice slow sipper for a Wednesday. I like it, especially at this time of year. Right, it's getting cooler out. It's getting cold. You want to have like a beer to warm you up. And I know it's counterproductive because alcohol doesn't actually help you warm up as you're stuck outside. I'm inside, so when you're inside, it warms you up, right? That, that's not true. Just hearing from the desk now, that's not true. I, I don't know. I feel warm. Anyways, all right. Pug loves you. Look for this your local LCBO. Pick it up. You know what? It's a very enjoyable beer. You get that banana, the banana and plum though. Like that plum. Right at the nose. Oh, beautiful. Cheers. More German beers. Absolutely.